Hi, Annie Agopian here with Coldwell Banker Hallmark Realty. We recently have major changes to the U.S. tax code for both individuals and corporations. In fact, the bill represents the most significant tax changes in the United States in more than 30 years. Make sure to check out the new structure of the tax brackets and consult with your CPA for additional details. Let's start with the capital gains taxes. The general structure of the capital gains tax system isn't changing. However, there are still a few important points to know. For starters, short-term capital gains are still taxed as ordinary income. Since the tax brackets applied to ordinary income have changed significantly, your short-term gains are most likely taxed at a different rate than they were before. Finally, the 3.8% net investment income tax that applied to high earners remains the same and with the exact same income thresholds. If Congress is successful in repealing the Affordable Care Act, this could potentially go away, but for the time being, it remains the same. Changes in the mortgage interest deductions. Mortgage interest deductions can only be taken on mortgage debt of up to $750,000. This is down from $1 million. This only applies to mortgages taken after December 15, 2017. Pre-existing mortgages are already grandfathered in. The interest rate on home equity debt can no longer be deducted at all, whereas up to $100,000 in home equity debt could have been considered. My friends, deductions are completely disappearing. While many deductions remain under the new tax law, there are several that just did not survive. The estate tax exemption. Essentially, the 40% estate tax rate applied only to the portion of the estate that was valued at 5.6 million or more per ind individual or 11.2 million per married couple. However, the new tax law exempts even more households by doubling these exemptions. Now, for 2018, individuals get a $11.2 million lifetime exemption, and if married, they get $22.4 million. As you can probably imagine, this won't leave too many families paying the estate taxes. The global average corporate tax rate is about 25%, so this move is actually designed to make the U.S. more globally competitive, which should in turn keep more corporate profits in, and jobs in the United States. When will all of this go into effect and when will we actually notice this change? The changes made by the tax reform bill go into effect for the 2018 tax year, which means you'll first notice them on your tax return when you file them in 2019. However, you can expect to see changes in your paychecks as of immediately, as employers will modify their withholdings to adapt the newly passed 2018 tax brackets. I hope you enjoyed a few information about the new taxes that were just brought onto the table. If you have any questions, any concerns, if you want to know the details of these, please contact your CPA. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.